Hello spooky people and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. Today is part three of my Halloween Decorate With Me series. I probably have two more coming after this and then the final home tour set to music. If you are new here, I am Caitlin and I've already shared my living room and entryway Decorate With Me. So be sure to check those out. I will link those below. Also be sure to subscribe. We have so much content coming for Thanksgiving and Christmas. This is a decorating channel for sure. I do all things decorating. I love being creative and thinking a little bit outside of the box. I like to keep things a little more elevated and um, I'm just curious if you're new here like introduce yourself down in the comments. I see I have quite a few new subscribers and I'm so excited for that. Um, I am loving doing all this and especially Halloween. It's my favorite and so I hope you consider subscribing and um, also follow me over on Instagram at Mrs. Caitlin Hunter. I do post more of my stories there daily and I love chatting with you guys and getting to know you over there. So right now I am clearing out the dining room because I'm going to need this space open. I'm about to do something pretty dramatic on the wall and the ceilings and I can't wait to share this with you. So let's get into this video. Okay, so we're going to start this off with our dramatic arrangement that we're going to put in the corner here. You guys know I love to do fun and different types of arrangements. This one's going to be pretty dramatic, but still simple. Um, this urn is from Hobby Lobby, and I did that faux mercury glass antique mirror treatment on it. I shared it in a previous video, and I will link that below. And I just want to let you guys know that I am 5'10", and it looks kind of small on camera, but you can see this arrangement is going to be taller than I am, and it's almost going to the ceiling. You'll see that when I pan out and show you the full view of it. But right now I'm placing these black branches in there. They are from... Um, Home Depot last year and some of those I zip tied together to make them even taller. Now I'm adding in, this is kind of like a tentacle plant. I don't know, it came with that flower that I put in the um, living room arrangement. And so I'm gonna add that in here because it's gonna play off well. You're gonna see here, we're gonna add a ton of butterflies. Uh, butterflies seem to be really on trend this year and I am loving it. The bats have been very popular too in the um, birds and whatnot, but this year I am going all in on these butterflies. I use them in my uh, living room and now I'm using them in the dining room, but I'm showing you here, I'm using a painter's tape to attach these to the wall. The tape that it comes with is actually kind of hard to get off and it could be damaging to your wall. So here I'm using just a ton of painter's tape and I am putting like hundreds of these butterflies up on my ceiling you're gonna see here I'm gonna show you I'm not gonna take you through me doing the whole thing but here it is so <laughs> I started out with just like these butterflies are coming from this arrangement like that's their little plant and they like to chill out on it and now they're all like swarming over and around the chandelier and then towards the door like they're trying to go outside so that's what I did here Next we're going to work on the chandelier and if you have been on this channel long enough you know that I like the chandelier because it's just pretty bare bones and every holiday I get the opportunity to do something fun with it. And this year I'm going to do something kind of dramatic but still subtle on here. Um, the tablescape is not going to be as dramatic as usual just because I have a toddler and you guys she is getting into everything, taking everything down. I turn around one minute and she's got like paint in her hands. Like it is insane and it's taken a lot for me to get used to this but um, it's all good and we're going to modify and still we're going to have some fun dramatic decor so right now I'm taking these branches they are part of a wreath that I had and it was falling apart and I was like I'm just gonna take it apart and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put these all around the perimeter of the chandelier my goal here is to create a sort of nest situation I am zip tying these branches on there and you'll see um, what I'm doing here in a second I'm gonna add a crow and whatnot to the this um, chandelier and it ends up looking pretty spooky I'm excited for this one Okay, so now that we've applied those branches for the perimeter of the nest, we're going to go ahead and build the interior of the nest. And um, I just have a bunch of picks here that are just a bunch of black, different um, uh, sorts of picks. And we're just going to like, kind of like a bird's nest, like they forage for their uh, different components of their nest. It's going to be some different sorts of branches just to fill out the interior of the chandelier. So we're adding in those black, um, I'm not really sure what those are called. They're kind of just creepy and look kind of like curly, uh, mossy hair. Um, and so yeah, we're just going to build this up and then we're going to add our bird in. 
I'm curious, do you like to decorate your chandelier or other lighting for holidays as well? Okay, so now I'm adding in this crow to the very top. I got this one at Michael's a couple of years ago. And like I mentioned, my daughter's been getting into everything. And of course, she ripped his wing off. So I ended up having to glue that back on there. So I'm glad he's up here safe from her for now. Um, so this is as far as I got this day. My daughter was awake and I just had to attend to some other family matters. So we will pick up on the next day. Okay, so it is the next day and we're going to be adding these skulls to the chandelier. Um, I'm going to show you how I made these here in a second. They're, it is very cheap and easy to do and I love how this turned out. I know it's kind of hard on camera because I'm using so much black, I guess, on the chandelier to see all the actual detail of the nest and whatnot on the chandelier. But I'm telling you, in person, it is super spooky and hopefully at the end of this video, um, I can show you the um, final results and you can see more of the detail. I do want to point out it is the next day, but I am wearing the same shirt I had on the other day that says Momster. I only wore it briefly the day before and I kind of wanted to wear it for this video. And plus me and my daughter were wearing some cute shirts today and I kind of wanted to match her. Okay, so like I mentioned, I'm going to quickly show you how I made these. These skulls are from Dollar Tree and they are $1.25 a piece. Um, <laughs> So you're going to start out by cutting a hole in the top of the skull and I just used a steak knife um, because that is what I had and it worked out well for me. These things come apart pretty easily once you get a hole in them. So you're going to cut the top, you're going to cut a hole and then you're going to cut um, along the jawline on the bottom and then I spray painted it with this ultra matte uh, charcoal Rust-Oleum spray paint to give it kind of still that bone texture with that charcoal matte look. And then we're going to come in with some silver paint here. And I'm just going to do like where the details are. I'm going to paint the teeth, the um, eyes, the nose, and where all the little skull cracks are. And then we're going to come in with a wet paper towel and wipe it all off. We're just trying to make it kind of blend in with the um, charcoal mat. And I think it ends up looking pretty creepy and kind of like um, aged and stony. And it works well for the vibe in the dining room. I'm curious, is this something you consider doing in your dining room or on your chandelier in your home? Also, this is what it looks like when it dries. You can see it's not as uh, shiny. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the window treatments. So we're gonna add a little more black to these curtains. They are just a little bit too white for Halloween and the vibes we want in this space. So I used a black ribbon and tied it in the back and then I'm adding these stems. They're kind of like, um, like a gothic lavender type pick. And I got those at Michael's a few years back. And then I'm just gonna add in this little skeleton hand and just a very simple moment here on these windows just to pull it all together and now we're going to move on to the tablescape okay so for this tablescape it's going to be pretty simple but i still think it's it looks great with everything that we've done in this space like i said i have a toddler and i'm really trying to um, manage how I decorate and make it practical so that she is not getting into everything and pulling it down too much so like I'm focusing more on things she can't reach like I did those butterflies and the chandelier a little extra so I think here on the tablescape I can get away with keeping it kind of simple but still have some fun so I use that familiar beaded black table runner I just can't get away from it it works so well in my space and um, I've got that uh, ginger jar that you've seen before and that's another one of those ones that I uh, did that technique where I did the mercury glass uh, mirror spray paint on it with the vinegar and I'm adding in these roses. These roses are from Hobby Lobby. Hobby Lobby does not carry um, really anything Halloween at all but they do have some stems that could pass for gothic. These are just in the regular floral section and I think they work well for Halloween and I'm going to go ahead and make them a little more spooky and add these skulls with some hot glue. I'm going to stick them inside the rosebuds and I'm only going to do it in a few of them. I'm going to scatter them throughout. I'm not doing it to all of them. Just kind of um, make it look a little more spooky and um, I love this technique. And I'm curious, are you like me and you have to consider that you have a toddler in your home when you're decorating because this is kind of new for me. I do have two boys in they're older but they are my stepsons and they live with us but I wasn't like part of their lives until uh, the youngest one was three so um, I had and I wasn't really decorating that big when I first started um, dating my husband so um, I'm just kind of curious do you have to consider kids when you're decorating um, as far as them pulling down things and playing with them my daughter she has been playing with I have this skeleton um, dog and this little rat that I keep trying to keep in my witch's 
area in the living room, but she just keeps playing with them and moving them around, which is fine. Like, I love that she is playing with the spooky things, but um, this is my first year where I really have to consider, like, keeping it safe for her, but also having fun for Halloween. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and finish out this tablescape. I'm adding in these taper candle holders. Those are from At Home, and I got them this time last year there. Um, I love them. They're kind of like an ombre um, mercury glass effect. And if you're new here, I am obsessed with antique mirror mercury glass. So I have a lot of that throughout my home. Is that something that you like? I'm curious. Um, <laughs> You're probably sick of it if you're a, a loyal subscriber, and I apologize, but I just, I can't get away from it. I love the look, um, and that's kind of the theme of what I'm doing here. And if I can't find what I want in the stores, then I, like I said, I DIY it myself on those two vases that I have in this um, setup are both DIY'd. So I'm going to add in these skulls and, um, well, this skull, and then I'm playing with the idea of putting this pumpkin here. I'm not going to end up keeping it here. I'm going to end up adding another one of those skulls that's um, black. And glitter like the silver one but it's black and those are from Walmart a few years back and um, I just end up using them every year this year I didn't think I was gonna use them just because I wasn't gonna put too much glitter in my decor but it just works really well for this space and the dining room is a little more elevated and fun and bling because it's the dining room so now I'm gonna play around with adding some more candles to this arrangement I just love how candles look in Halloween decor it's just so spooky and these black taper candles I love them um, however, I'm going to end up just leaving it with the two shorter taper candle holders. I wish I would have had a second one of the taller ones, but um, this just looked kind of off balance to me. So, like I said, I ended up just keeping it simple on this table, and I like how it turned out. Um, do you like to incorporate candles into your Halloween decor? I just think um, flames are just so spooky, especially at night. I also went ahead and off camera I added in some of these butterflies. I don't know why I didn't record this. I guess it was an afterthought. But um, we're going to go ahead and do some final touches and I'll take you through the completed look and I just love how this turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So we're going to go ahead and do something fun on this wall. I have these um, frames. They are from Dollar Tree. They came with art inside of them and I thought I was going to use them somewhere else in my house but I ended up deciding to do this with them and I just removed the back of the pictures from them and just kept the frame. These frames are their plastic, but they're really nice. These were $3 at Dollar Tree. And I decided to go ahead and just put some more butterflies in. I know it's shocking, but it's kind of a fun little display of the butterflies. And I did a set of three of these on the wall and I love how this turned out. So now we're going to add one final touch to this spooky dining room. I am adding in these. It's a set of two wall art from Dollar Tree. There were $5 for the set. One has a scorpion and one has a spider. I'll show you better here in a second. I'm sorry, it was kind of dark, I guess, when I was filming this in this corner. And um, I just love this. It finishes out the dining room perfectly. And now I'm going to take you through last looks. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe. We have so much content coming. And thank you for all my loyal subscribers for returning. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it inspired you. Thank you.